Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I've, I've finally seen this uh, this little footage of uh, Shannon Briggs. David Hay was in town for a fight here in the U.S. Briggs seen him at the show. And, you know, they're like, there, there goes David Hay right there. And then he started the whole Let's Go champ. Now, a lot of fans, they saying that Hay was uh, running away from him, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, you can look at it two ways, because from what I've noticed from David Hay over the last shit, since I've been watching him, man, the last seven, six, seven, eight years, when I watch him, he seems like the type that likes to be in control. So does it surprise me that he didn't stop and confront Briggs, or not even confront Briggs, but stop and um, acknowledge Briggs and say something to him? It doesn't really surprise me. Now, was he trying to make it? Maybe he was trying to make it to his seat to sit down. I don't know if he was doing broadcasting for a uh tv i'm not sure man I'm, I'm really not sure but uh from the angle i saw it looked like he was hauling ass to get away from shannon briggs but at the same time no hey is a guy that likes to be in control he does things when he wants to do them so it really doesn't surprise me at all that he didn't stop and um when it comes to like getting into a shouting match and all that it just seemed like briggs gonna win that briggs gonna win that it's just his charisma his energy uh just his tone, the way he gets his point across when he's speaking. I think Hayes going to lose that every time. Briggs just beats him in that department. He just beats him in that department. Now, when they get in the ring, I'm not sure what's going to happen. You know, I'm not sure what's going to happen in that fight. I would favor David Hay, the younger, fresher guy. I think he has the faster hands. I um, think he moves a little bit better on his feet at this stage of their careers. You know what I mean? But with Shannon Briggs, you never know, man. That dude can get you out of there in one round if you tr if you try to, you know, stand and trade with him, so on and so forth. But as far as this, it, now it it was funny to watch. It was definitely funny to watch uh, Shannon Briggs with the Let's Go champ, and then seeing David Hay just keep walking and ignore him. Um, I wouldn't call, and I see some people trying to call Hay a pussy, and he pussed out. I mean, I, I'm not sure I'll go that far, man. I mean, he wasn't a pussy the time he, uh, <laughs> was that Derek just served? He said he glassed me when Hay punched him with the bottle in his hand. Like, don't don't get it twisted now, man. Hay's not no, you know, I don't think he's a pussy like some fans like to make it out. You know, I know he did the whole toe thing, and then he pulled out some Tyson Fury fights. So fair enough with some of his, uh, some of the things he's done, I'm not co-signing everything that he's done in his career as far as, far as the pulling out the Fury fights, the shit that he did with Klitschko, you know, talking about his toe and all the theatrics he please pull with that. But with that said, though, I don't think David Hayes a chump. I think he likes to be in control and I do think he likes to pick his spots when he wants to do things. But um, it was very entertaining, man. And hopefully Hayes still gives him his fight, his fight, uh, Briggs, that is. He told Briggs if he fights on his undercard of that Jarek Jai undercard that he will fight him. So he did that, took care of business. Um, I guess we'll see what happens, man. But I'm just giving my opinion about what I saw with this David Hayes, Shannon Briggs thing. Very funny, very entertaining. And from the clip, from what I've seen, yes, it does look like David Hayes wanted no parts of standing in front of Shannon Briggs and having a shouting match or stare down, whatever you want to call it. It would have been great to see you know don't get me wrong it's not like i didn't want to see that but at the same time you know when i take away the emotion of it and just laughing at it it did look funny i just think david hayes the type of guy that likes to be in control and in that situation didn't feel in control you know you're out of course the fans are going to get behind shannon briggs with the let's go champ and it wasn't a controlled environment and just briggs would outshine him he just would outshine him man standing there yelling back and forth Briggs the type of dude he would have had the damn crowd saying let's go champ around him while he was confronting David Hay that's just how much energy he brings man in my opinion you know what I mean but hopefully this fight still go down the press conference is going to be crazy the build up is going to be crazy and hopefully the fight is crazy when they stand in there you got two guys that can pop man you know and if uh, Briggs plays if our Hay plays Briggs like he's some just old guy he could get cracked with a right hand and go to sleep you know, or on the flip side, he can, you know, draw the fight or make the fight go six, seven rounds by moving on his feet, landing some good shots to get Briggs' attention, some good power punches, nice, nice jab. 
and maybe he can uh, stretch this fight out and we'll see what Briggs has in round six, seven, eight. Hopefully this fight still go down, but by looking at it, yes, it does look like David Hay <laughs> did not want to stand in front of Shannon Briggs. I'm out.